Hi there guys. Um, today's video is, uh, today, wanna, today I'm going to talk about relationships. Now I know that's something I don't do a lot, really talking about uh, relationships and things like that, but um, on this channel I really try to help people see self and to see or help discover what's more inside of them and and, and to work on self basically to work on self um, you, you all have heard me talking about um, higher consciousness you know and high how to get to um, higher levels of consciousness you know now let me say quickly that has nothing to do with the conscious community um, I personally as some of you know um, I have a lot of beef with the conscious community I mean not not beef as far as uh, you know me you know necessarily um, getting you know talking to anybody or beefing real real true beefing with anybody it's just, a, it's, it's just the fact that I do not believe that we need a conscious community. I think that the conscious community is something that has been set up for the destruction of the black family, black man and black woman. Um, I think the way that it is presented and the aim of it from what I see is just, just really a bunch of rhetoric. <laughs> it, it's a bunch of stuff that really has no overall um, that really is not going to overall help advance liberate or make better the African American community which is where pretty much it is uh, focused and aimed at you know um, a lot of these little guys who they have set up as um, conscious leaders and conscious teachers most of these little guys first of all they're so young I mean they don't, they don't even have enough life experience to even know what they're really talking about secondly a lot of them have come from prison you know so I mean it's just I just really think it's something that is not meant to advance black people I think it's another joke. I think it's uh, it's pretty much just like uh, Christianity, meant to uh, make you spin your wheels and spend a lot of money. Because once again, we know that that's something that's going on in the conscious community, where um, you know you're going and paying to see these people speak and talk and debate and all that. I mean, really and truly, because like I said, I'm, I'm not <laughs> I'm not here to talk about the conscious community, but. What is a debate? How does a debate and who won a debate help black people? I, I, I don't see that. You know, I, I don't see that. But anyway, this video is about relationships. And when I was talking about consciousness, what I'm talking about is true consciousness. True consciousness is going to get you to a place of looking within yourself, which is going to get you a place to look of looking to humanity which is going to get you to a place of looking to nature uh, which is the connection mankind connect uh, nature love emotions all of this stuff you know what I mean real to true consciousness what it does is it makes you deal with self and this is what I'm talking about I, I don't need to know the dimensions of a pyramid you know what I'm saying? I, I don't need to know anything about, uh, you know, the moon and the stars and how it's all, you know, going to hook up together on, you know, February 16th and, you know, and what's it going to do for the Earth's electromagnetic gravity. And I mean, I don't need to know that. I need to know how to treat my, my brother better. I need to be able to look within myself and see where I'm bitter at, where I'm hateful at. Uh, where I'm greedy at, where some things that I could have done to maybe have helped somebody or how I can go within myself and help somebody in some some way, 
to make life better. That's what it's about. It's not trying to get no money from anybody. It's not about knowing any kind of astrological, horizontal BS crap that doesn't help mankind. True consciousness, as I just said, draws you to self. Within self, you're going to find humanity and you're going to find other people. And you're going to learn deeper and, and, and a more true way of how to love people. That's if you're really truly tapping into your into yourself and into your, your real true uh, path of spirituality. It also takes you far away from religion, <laughs> you know. Um, conscious, real true self-consciousness draws you far away from religion because religion has no it has no uh, there, there's there's nothing religious about this temple and about your temple anyway before I get off into something else and and go on too far with all that <laughs> relationships relationships coming from within now <clears throat> just on a physical level just on a you know just everyday daily whatever you know I see so many hurt people I see so many, I mean I see hurt bitter angry black men and black women and once again my videos are geared to the black community this is why I say black men and black women. That's my aim and my focus. To liberate us, to make our us better, and to get our minds right. Because the rest of them, you know, we really can't deal with that fully and correctly until we deal with ourselves. So that's what my channel is about. Helping us to deal with ourselves before we can even deal with anything else outside of that. So... I, I see these hurt and these uh, angry, bitter, you know, I see so much finger pointing. I see so many black men who hate black women. I see so many black women who are hurt and angry and bitter because men are not there or because men left or because men won't stand up or because he is not who I expected him to be, you know. Uh, really and truly, in all honesty, you know, when I look at black men, to, to be very honest, I don't know what they want. I, I do know that the black woman seems to be their number one enemy, you know. Um, not supposed to be that way because they certainly have a real true enemy, but they seem to ignore that and attack the black woman. So since they have made the black woman their number one enemy, you know, there there is so much hate and bitterness and violence toward the black woman uh, that it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. And let me let me just throw this out here real quick. I'm I'm not praising the white man. I'm not lifting him up in in any kind of way because the the bottom line is I, I my fight is against racism, not not even necessarily people. It's racism. And when I talk about and say things about the white man or white culture and everything, it's because, the, you know, they are the ruling class. And, and everything is built around that. But I, I can say this. I can say this. All of the stuff that I say about white people, you know, I may get a troll every now and again. Every now and again, I might get a troll. But for the most part, it's black men who come and attack me. All of the stuff that I say about white people, you have no idea how many, how I get white men in my inbox still trying to hop. Despite all the stuff I say. But brothers, dumb be, stupid hoe, you know, you're ignorant, you know, just, stupidity. You know, and, and, and like I say, from these white men, even as much as I say about them, I still am getting intellectual conversation to where they're trying to ask me a serious question about my feelings and why I feel that way. When you are dealing, like I say, but when, when, when black men come on, on my page, it's just, you know, black women dumb, black women stupid, black women whatever. 
You know, and it's, 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 it's really ridiculous. So, I said all that to say that we are a people that need much healing. We, we, you have black women who are blaming everything on black men. You had, and I can see it, and I'm sorry, I'm a black woman, so yeah, I can see it. But you also have, and, and you also have all these black men who just seem to be in a, on a hate campaign for the woman. Which means they hate their mothers and they hate their grandmothers and they hate every other woman who has birthed them and who has been in their lives to nurture them in any kind of way. For you to hate one woman says a whole lot about where you came from. You need to kind of let that sink in because I'm not going to explain it. Let me deal, as I say, with um, relationships. This, this video is about relationships. I said all of that stuff to kind of to bring it to the point of talking about personalities and talking about, it's even talking a little bit about agenda. Because when we're dealing with, with um, relationships, everybody wants one, first of all. When we're dealing with relationships, one of the biggest things that I found in my past experiences with relationships is that it, it, a huge thing is agenda. A huge thing is agenda. Because you may be looking for a certain person in your life to fulfill something. Maybe loneliness. Maybe uh, sex. Maybe um, you want children. I mean, it's, it's, you know, maybe financial. So many reasons why people want relationships. And so that's one of that. That is the almost the number one thing that you, you need to look at when dealing or when before entering a relationship is agenda. What do they really want? Because, you know, that's been something that I have had to deal with is I'm looking for love and I'm looking for, you know, just a nice guy or, you know, someone to just go out with some time to be to just conversation, you know, uh, and see where it goes. But nine times out of ten or nine and a half times out of ten. The man is looking strictly for sex. You have really no idea how many times I've heard men, oh, I'm looking for a good woman. I'm looking for a good, clean woman. I'm looking for, a, you know, back when I was a Christian, looking for a good, clean Christian woman. You know, I said, you know, I'm, I'm tired of the club life. You know, I'm ready to settle down. I want a good woman. You have no idea how much BS that was because that was what my ears wanted to hear because that's what I was looking for. But like I say, when you when I finally got down to just the sex, they, they just wanted sex. They did not get it, which is why they left. But that's really what it was. You know, I, I had guys telling me because I had a son, I still have a son. But my son was a, a uh, from adolescent to teenager, whatever, uh, young teenager, like 13 to 15 or whatever. And, uh, excuse me, these guys, you have no idea. Oh, yeah, I'm going to take him to the park. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a, you know, I, I go out with my little, I take my little cousins fishing. And, you know, my little nieces and nephews fishing. And we go to the park and we throw the balls and everything. And, yeah, I'd like to take your son, you know. And when, like I say, once again, when you come down to it, when they can't get the sex that they wanted on the first night, <laughs> even the first week, then all of a sudden, that's all gone out the window. And it's like, well, you know, I thought you wanted to mentor children. I, th I thought you were looking for a single women so that you can, you know, help the children, you know. And it'd just be bull. It'd just be game, you know. And then you have women. You, you have women who are looking for men for money, for status. You're looking for, you have women who will do almost anything for money. I mean, seriously, you got women who will do anything for a man for money. No matter if he be cute, no matter if he's ugly, no matter if he is just whatever, they will do it. Because that is their goal. That is their agenda. 
is the money, the status, trying to get somewhere. I, oh, I want a big house, so I'm going to date only doctors. I'm going to date only whatever. That, that's called an agenda, you know? <clears throat> if you're somewhere who and you happen to meet a doctor and you all hit it off and personalities, you know, um, personalities uh, mesh together, you know, and, you know, it all just works out, then, you know, that's a good thing. But I'm, I find that most people have some form of alternative agenda when it comes to relationships. And then when that doesn't work out for them and when it becomes when it just doesn't work out for them, then all of a sudden they're angry. And, uh, you know, all men are dogs and all men are, you know, uh, no good, you know, because your mindset and your agenda was wrong from the, from the beginning. And, you know, maybe dude figured you out. I don't know. You know, same thing with women. You know, I mean, the, anyway, like I say, agenda is, is huge. Also, uh, knowing what you're going to put up with and what you want is going to be key and is going that that's my second point most people get into relationships and they have absolutely no i mean they're just pretty much riding the wind just we just gonna see where we go you know and, and there's no um what is that word i'm looking for there is no um it's just a bunch of expectations there is just no maybe maybe that's what I'm looking for there is no expectation of what's going to be the outcome of this relationship like I say they're just pretty much just riding the wind you know um, but you need to know what you're gonna put up with you're gonna you need to know who you're dealing with you need to know what you want you need to know yourself so that you can know, like I say, what you're going to put up with. Because if you don't know yourself and if you're not honest with yourself and you don't know what you want, you're going to accept anything. <laughs> and once again, it's not going to work out. You, you need to see. OK, let me use myself once again as, as an example. There's just some things with me that I'm just not going to put up with that I already know that I don't want to deal with in a relationship. Things like drugs, things like alcoholics, you know, I, I've been down that road, you know, and so I know in my life I don't want to deal with that. I don't want to deal with no playboys. I don't want to deal really with no pretty boys. You know, that's not to say that I don't mind having a handsome man, but to be very, very honest, some of these guys who look like models and some of these guys, you know, who you know, think they're so cute and all that. I don't want to deal with that because I did that. I, I, I was in a relationship with a guy who me and him are fighting over the mirror. You know what I'm saying? He in the bathroom longer than I am. You know, uh, it, it was like a competition. You know, he, he's asking me for my facial wash. Do you have any more of that facial wash? I mean, that's just like like a girlfriend. And, and like I said, I don't, I don't want to deal with that. I don't, I don't want to deal with a pretty boy. Th those are my standards. Um, with me, it's even, I, <laughs> with me, I don't even want to deal with some guys who have a certain name. With me, I don't even want to deal with some guys who have certain astrological signs because it's a true science and I've, I've dealt with that and I already know. And that may sound silly or petty, but it keeps me from dealing with BS. It's just some things that a guy begins to say to me that I already know mm -mm. Mm -mm. but anyway you know when you have not if you, when you don't know that about yourself when you don't know what you like where you want to go what you want to do the things that you know then yeah you're gonna get a guy that wants to take you to McDonald's and then take you to his bedroom you know you're gonna you're gonna have that you know but if you know that you're not no McDonald's woman if you know that you know I'm not gonna you're not gonna we're not going to have that type of relationship, you know, then you just don't deal with it. Cheap men. Cheap men, men who don't want to spend any money, men who are cheap. That does not mean that, you know, you know, you're looking for somebody to take care of you. Because one thing about me, I always kept a job. I, I matter of fact, I would take myself out before I went 
with uh, some guy who was thinking he was going to get something out of it. I, I will take myself. If I'm going to go to the, to the restaurant, if I want to go to the play, if I want to go to the concert or what have you, and I know that, you know, whatever dude I know is going to be expecting this or wanting this or he wants something more than what I want, I'm not going to deal with it. I'll take myself, you know. But that's the confidence that I have. There, there's a lot of women who are, you know, they can't go out by themselves, you know. Um, same thing with um, men. Same thing with men. You have a lot of men, and I'm, I'm just going to be honest. I, I'm, I'm going to say the biggest problem that I see with men, especially black men, it's probably all men, but since we're talking about black, I'm talking about black people. The biggest problem that I see with men is they're looking for a body. They're looking for a dime piece. They're looking for, oh, she got to be fine. She got to be Beyonce. Which brings me to something I don't understand. And I probably won't get an answer from, from this because I never do because I've asked it before. I'm trying to figure out how is it that nice looking, handsome black men will stoop to the level of getting a woman, a white woman, who is 500 pounds with six chins, no butt, and just no ambition. I mean, she's straight from the trailer park. She just, and he will parade her around like a goddess, but he wouldn't date a fat black woman. I don't get that. He he won't date a woman with more than three kids. I know a black guy who has who is with a white woman. They have eight children. Six of them are hers. And he got with her with all those children. And I'm saying to myself, I don't know of a black man who would be with a black woman with all those children. I, I just don't know. You know? Um, it, it's... <laughs> It amazes me that the black woman has to look like Beyonce, but yet they will go and get, you know? So anyway, knowing what you want, knowing what you're going to put up with, going within yourself, learning yourself enough, spending time with yourself enough to know what you want to deal with in a relationship or some basic standards that you need to go by in order to even begin to have successful relationships and I say that because like I said before there are so many bitter and angry black men and black women from failed and bad relationships you know oh, she turned out to be a hoe you know or he turned out to be a dog well if you begin to set those standards of just what you not you're not going to deal with and what you're not going to accept into your life then you you start cutting those chances down of meeting those kinds of people but like I say with men especially black men what I usually find with black men they get into the trouble that they get into mostly because they chase an ass and and tits that that's usually why after the ass and tits then they you know want to I don't know where her mind comes in at, you know, is she a good mother? Yes, she got a fat ass, but is she a good mother? Would, would she be able to teach my children? Would she be able to teach my daughter how to be a young lady? Would she be able to teach the son, my son how to respect women along with my help? You know, because honestly, a fat ass and big tits are, they come a dime a dozen. And like I say, what I find with black men is that is what they go for. And then when they find out that she can't do this or she's not any good with this, then all of a sudden, you know, you get the bitter, angry, hate all black women videos. And, and because of the type of quality of women that they, that they are getting. You know, they, they love to blame the black woman and say, oh, black women like thugs. Just all black women like thugs. Right. But they don't acknowledge the fact that most of them like hoes. Or most of them like women who could be a hoe. Now, I'm not going to define that because, you know, you, you know what it is. You know what it is. And I'm not trying to offend anyone. 
but you know what it is and you know that you need to raise your standards up it's not about trying to go and get with someone because you know that she's going to be a quick easy lay because if you go and get her pregnant then th that opens up a whole nother can of worms i mean we, we really need to to be more responsible with our bodies both black men and black women we need to be more responsible with our bodies and what we allow in them and what comes out of them and i'm not talking about just sexually or physically i'm, I'm talking about everything food what goes in and out of our heads all of these reality shows all of these talk shows all of these uh you know the music some of this music is straight satanic and and and, and it, it 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 baffles me how you can hear a black man just talking about these bitches and these hoes and these whatever and i'm just like okay well yeah maybe you're not getting and finding a quality woman because you call all of them bitches and hoes Maybe, maybe that's maybe that's what you're attracting because of because of how you are thinking. Maybe you need to raise your energy levels. Maybe you need to go to different places. Maybe you need to to find another type of woman. All of the women out here are not the same. I know they like to put that out there. I know the you know all the videos with the ghetto Gwen and the big earrings and the and the loud kool-aid purple and, and red hair and all that kind of stuff that's not the black woman and, and it really it, it's silly and it's very very ignorant for these black men to go and put that stereotype of woman up there as all black women and then dog black women that's that's really petty it's childish and it's stupid because you know that's not black women and i've said it in another video what about the women uh lawyers what about the women um teachers what about the women black women uh who 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 have good jobs who have good education and good careers are you angry because you can't get those type women is that why all of them are bitches and hoes and is that why all of them are just no good because like i say once you once you raise your your vibrations and once you raise who you are as a man and as a person those women are not hard to get. I made a video called How to Get a Beautiful Woman. And I don't mean just beautiful as far as looks. I mean beautiful as far as a personality, as far as, as, far as being a real good, true woman. Those women are not hard to get if you're the kind of man that attracts that kind of woman. You know, most men look at, at pretty women or, or, or what have you, or a woman who has her stuff together as, oh, she stuck up. You know, most of them just, as soon as she comes into the mall, she stuck up. You know, that doesn't, that's not the case in a lot of, a lot of times. That's not the case. P people call me stuck up all the time and I don't have a stuck up bone in my body. It's just this, that's what they think. So I let them think it. I don't care, <laughs> you know, but that's just what they think. So like I say, this video is about working on self. This video is about going inside of self and learning you so that you can know what you want and know what you're going to expect and know what you're going to put up with. Stop just accepting anything. And I'm talking to black men and black women. Stop just accepting anything. Stop stop going out with Lil Ray Ray because if you don't met, if you don't talk to Lil Ray Ray, then you know everybody in the neighborhood gonna think you stuck up. Oh well. Oh well. It, it's not about that. You know, we 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 are so lonely. We are so lonely. We need to stop being so lonely because loneliness turns to desperation very quickly learn how to enjoy your own company learn, learn and get new and better friends so that you all can do new and better things but stop being lonely and i'm talking especially to the black woman stop being lonely loneliness whether you know it or not is a spirit because being alone and being lonely are two completely different things. Loneliness is, is, is a, and it's actually a very bad spirit that can lead you to depression. That, I mean, <laughs> see, I, I know this because I used to be lonely and I used to 
be in depression and I used to cry and pray and all that. That's not normal. That's not normal. And until I learned how to find my own happiness and how to be a better person, then I was able to attract and draw better things into my life. And I lived a life where I was alone as a single mother, but I was not lonely. And I did things and I went places and I traveled. And, you know, it would be me and my son. And if it wasn't me and my son, it was me and somebody else. And we, we just, I enjoyed life. I enjoyed life. So stop being lonely. Get loneliness out of your life. So I'm going to end this video. And um, I hope you got something out of it. I, I know that I go on a little bit, but I, I, I hope that you get the gist of what I was trying to, 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 to talk about. You know, relationships, setting those standards, knowing what you want, knowing what you're going to accept, and, and, and expecting that from people. Expecting that from people. Don't stop giving people a pass. Stop giving them. Women, we have such a horrible problem with that, giving people a pass all the time. Oh, well, he just, and oh, when he just, when he gets something, so, when he gets so-and-so, then he going to get up and he going to do this. And, you know, I have faith in him. And it, most of these dudes don't even have faith in themselves. You, you have more faith in them than they mama do. And like I say, when you continue on with that and they never get up and they never achieve and they never do anything and they still sitting in your house not paying bills scratching eating cereal and playing Pokemon or whatever it is all day long then all of a sudden you want to be mad at him and call him a no good dog but you have accepted this you have accepted that if you put up that with put up with that for five to seven eight nine ten fifteen years I mean what more do you expect so look within yourself find those find find you find out who you are and get better thank you for watching until the next video see you later